<laughs> anyway, marketing. Now, it will be, it's going to be fun because you already talked about this earlier. Epa, pero no me robe la comida. Papi le va a dar y sopla. And uh, I think that there is, uh, I don't know how things are, and, and probably this session is going to be learning how things are currently, what we were doing back in the day, and what should we be doing. Because it's, I mean, compare, grow, and you know, succeed, something like that. Uh, it was really sad because at the beginning, uh, when I joined the Fedora team, I mean, a lot of years back, I had to buy everything because I didn't even knew that there was a sponsorship for buying things for anything. So all the DVDs and all the banners and all of that, we had to pay it by yourself. It's, it's really awesome that now uh, budgets for conference are really easy. I think that they are too easy, but <laughs> it can be less easy or have something that is pre-designed. I know that there was some effort for the box. I don't know if that actually went through. If that actually went through, you can say that to me probably. Box. Yeah, there was a box. Somebody talked about a box. Uh, I don't know. I think I heard it last year or something like that. Maybe a it was box. just an idea. Yeah, a box with everything that you could need for a conference. Oh, the banners, okay. stickers are... I don't know if it was just an idea. So we used to have something, or we have, I think there's like two in existence, something called like a fedora case or something like that. And mm -hmm. it would have, and it had like a lot of that stuff in it. Um, but I don't think it was big enough to hold a banner. But, yeah. I mean, yeah, that sounds, that would be great. Yeah. And I said, because there's this conference order that I'm going to be eating. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Go for it. There is this uh, conference all around Latin America. It's just called uh, Free Sol. It's an install fest that happens the same day in every single city that wants to join. There is no official sponsorship. You just have to uh, go and find anything that you can as a local organizer. And there are these uh, country organizers on top of it that try to help all the cities to have the same things. And obviously, there is an international team that provides artwork and all of that, but it's not mandatory to use. So there's, it is a really relaxed uh, structure. But since I had been organizing that for so many years, I usually receive boxes from all the, the distributions. And it came to my eyes that the most organized box that I got was from Susan. And I will die to have something like that for Fedora. Because at, the, at that specific conference, I have to remove my Fedora t-shirt because I cannot have preferences because I am the uh, international organizer. So it's not like, yeah, I use Fedora. Everybody knows that. I will always cheer for Fedora. But I cannot say, oh, no, you cannot use that because Fedora is the best. I mean, I have to be really neutral on that. Sure, sure. So they gave us... Uh, a couple of t-shirts it's not a big box it's just a really tiny box it comes uh in the fold so they have like a different box every year for the releases it comes with three t-shirts and three different sizes uh it comes with uh, the gecko the the plushy toy comes with a really huge amount of stickers from all sizes uh and it comes with a couple of magazines and that's it. That's everything that it, that it has. Sometimes it, they add um, probably a DVD, or uh, there was a year that was a really huge year for them. They gave us a tablecloth that was like three meters long, huge. I don't know why, but I mean, the local community organized that. But it's default. It doesn't matter if it's a huge conference, if it's a small conference, because it's designed mostly to give uh, one item to the organizer and the rest to be uh, given away, either with a, you know, a souvenirs or put it into the table or, I don't know, making a contest. So I think that for the following conferences that will come, 
and hopefully the coronavirus help with that. <laughs> we can have like a really tiny box that can be, uh, as I said, produced on each continent in each group. Uh, other food box. Can I pause yeah. you for one second? Yeah, sure. Do we, sure, have, sure. do we have notes somewhere? About this? For this session, do we have notes? I have no idea. All right, do you want me to make a document? Yeah, I can I can just yeah, just put it build there and I will add all that I have in, in the Are you okay with a Google Doc? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Fine. Um and then my second question was um and this is something that you see as a marketing initiative. Mm -hmm. yeah. Putting the box together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, since I can handle the design, either just using what we already have or doing something new, because I know that the new logo should be coming really soon. I have still have no idea when that's coming, which is a worry. <laughs> but we can do something. I can, give, I can give you an update on it. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I just please. Summarize kind of um, some of the points that we've been talking about. So basically, review what we've done mm -hmm. uh, what worked and didn't work okay um, to update because if we've been moving I have been like one month behind every single schedule in my life, including communities work life. <laughs> so you want so you want to put together an event box. Mm -hmm. So are you thinking that this should happen locally or it should happen with like Red Hat fulfillment and we send it out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well we can flex it make it make something flexible in that case because I know that uh, we have a lot of regions to cover, and shipping can be uh, complicated. But I'm sure that, I don't know, uh, we have a lot of uh, marketing team members that are quite active. And okay. also, I think it's uh, just a matter of time before we yeah. get back to having in-person events. And mm -hmm. when we're able, at the point that we're able to do that, I do suspect that shipping will be easier. Yes, yes. So I think it's I don't know if you remember the the ten years uh, T-shirt, the fedora. I think you, you probably saw it. So that was a really nice gesture. So I have something. That, yeah. Um, we were, I was mentioning this earlier about T-shirts mm -hmm. being kind of not the best thing to ship. Mm -hmm. You think no. we need T-shirts? Or are you agree with I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it into the list okay. because two things. Even if you make them on bulk, they would not fit right to everyone. And it's not just about the width, but also the length and also the cost. Me as a female, one of the things that I have loved during these battles that I usually have is that I demand to have a female version t-shirt. Because they have a better cut on the waist, they have a really better neck, they have uh, they're better for our arms. Just so you know, we hold this. We have this. <laughs> so it's it's more like something more appealing than you just having. I mean, I don't want to feel like a walking flag. I just want to have a t-shirt that makes me feel good as a female, but also represents what I like. And that that's a complication. So so right. I think that's why t-shirts maybe aren't the mm -hmm. best for. No where we are right now. I'm not against it. I will aim I like to, to stickers. I will aim heartily to stickers yep. and banners, big banners, because you can hang that anywhere. And if you have something um, that has no language related, something really general with our nice background, the logo and that, and that I mean, I have like four of those, but so no, not everybody has one. I put on also, on. I just shared it with you. Um, where? If there are other people. Oh, on G Gmail. Oh, um, and if there are other people who want to get in on that document, just let me know. It's just a pain to deal with the permissions. Anyway, um, what was I going to say? 
Oh, good topic. Banners, yes. Zine. Mm -hmm. This is where the zine should go. Mm -hmm. Because so. I think it's easy. It's something that is default in technically every single country. You have the 90 by 120 design. So, and then um, so. a gift for the organizer. A tiny gift. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually just thinking because when you said the <laughs> open Souza uh, chameleon or whatever it is, the lizard, how cute mm -hmm. it would be to do a fedora panda. I have I oh I have a pillow with the fedora logo. I have mugs with the fedora logo. Because every like single fedora, I a fedora like, what if it was like a little panda and it was wearing like a fedora t shirt? I would I would definitely have that. And I would I probably have it on my desk. And I'm sure yeah. that any country reader will love that. Right? Okay. So really funny. Funny. Like, yeah, really but it could funny. be like the gift for the organizer. Mm-hmm. I mean, that would be something that is unique. I mean, with the years, I have become like a collector and, I, and I'm and i sure that I'm not the only one. Collector of the Fedora Rarities, <laughs> to give it a name. The what now? I mean, I have Fedora Rarities, something that is really strange and nobody has. So I have this poker um, coins that they did years ago, and I don't even play poker. I have a 3D fedora printed logo that spot there. I mean, that was awesome. I mean, I have this, this really tiny gadgets and logos of fedora in different presentations that every single time that I open a drawer or see my, I don't know, my closet or anything, it's like, you're there. You're part of this. I can brag about this. I can show this and see, I have it because I did something and that's, the thing that I see a lack of. I mean, I contribute, but I don't get recognition. I don't get the attention that I probably was expecting from the team. So maybe something really tiny getting into their hands. I mean, yeah. it can be just. Yeah. Mm, uh, something really tiny that tells you once again, hey, you matter. Here's something specially designed for you. Because again, sometimes we, we try to think, and I think that has been a mistake because of the joining rates. Uh, we, we should go there, but not right now. We should take care of the current contributors so they feel special again. And once more, they want to bring more people into the community. So, okay, I'm gonna pause you for a second. <laughs> Because I go too fast, or uh, I think your brain is just like it's shooting for like the stars. You get started on something and you get going. So yeah, uh, I'm trying to just structure this a little bit. Though I want to comment on what you said. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. Um, I don't know if you were in the lightning talks, but I did a little talk about my rise yeah, idea. So my rise idea is. Uh, it's an acronym so that you need these four things for uh, an effective or to effectively have a healthy community uh, recognition, incentives, support, and empowerment. So, anyway, I definitely am behind you on the recognition and the support. And that is actually why I had uh, the outreachy intern, Samara, the one I uh, mentor, do all of those infographics, which you've probably seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was a whole, you know, recognition um, type of a thing. Mm -hmm. And it could actually be cool. Um, sorry, give me one second. Okay. Um, it probably could be tied into whatever marketing strategy we come up with. Because first of all, they're newly done and they, they have like the entirely the fedora look and feel and they're going to be in the z and i just think it's kind of like this we have something to to base some stuff on um so that's something we want to incorporate but i did post the link here to just the marketing page and i kind of want to look at that and see like how up to date is this um you, know, we, you mentioned at the beginning like we want to 
talk about what we used to do and what our responsibilities were in the past. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious if this page is up to date. No. <laughs> Half of it, it says it was updated on April 2020. Yeah, I'm just going to check the, the edits over done by then because probably it was just expanded something. I mean, it's spread news. So this is user groups to contribute with Thora. Spawn myths and educate. Educate, I mean, it's, I mean, it should be a bit more. Anyway, I'm just aiming too, too much. If you don't shoot high, you don't get high. Okay, so the last actual edit was on the 2017. And it was just, uh, how was it? There were five edits in the 2017, then all up in the 16. I'll read it all in the 15, and that's it. So it's technically the same page since 2012, if that answers your question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, too much. Well, so I don't see, I, I don't see, I mean, I love the, the, the magazine, I love the podcast, I mean, all of that is ways to spread Fedora, right? But I conferences looking, are a challenge right now. I'm looking here, though, you know, about the goal of the marketing group, you know, it's from here I'm looking at it. Um, you know, it's kind of this user faced goal or objective. It's like, hold on, uh, aims to support. Okay. What we do. Sorry, I'm just reading. Yeah, me too. Getting caught up in it. I will highlight on the creating materials for Fedora ambassadors, well, for Fedora contributors, for events, for talking points, for event or events. My English is basic enough to be understood, but this is the same. Mentor bring new contributors that's join. That should not be marketing. I mean I think I think marketing and it's not that I want to change what marketing does. I, I just said the name marketing because I want to spread Fedora in a more effective way. Uh, one of my worries so, is how are so we the going way to that you the way that you described it is different than what's on the web on this website. This website mm -hmm. says ensure that Fedorans ambassadors know what Fedora is, uh, can consistently explain why the project can help them and how they can help the project. I do think that's uh, a valid uh, goal, mm -hmm. but I think that I don't sure. know. I'm like, <laughs> I guess I'm like, for me, I'm thinking about like, are we focusing on users? Are we focusing on like, are we focused on users are we focused on enriching the experience for our current contributors are we focused on like outreach like i think that the way that you go about marketing something is kind of could be different for 
different goals. So I guess this to me kind of seems like slightly limiting or just, I think if it's this precise, like we should reevaluate, like, is this the goal that we can want to continue to have? Yeah. Um, you know, you were talking that's about- That's something that, that, that ever should answer better than me when he's missing an action. <laughs> I think he's missing an action all day today. He was supposed to do a lightning talk. He wasn't there either. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I was at the beginning of the lightning talks, but then I had to go and run and cook. I mean, I just don't... It's not like I want to revamp the marketing team. I just said the name because marketing at the end is spreading things, right? So, exactly. so okay. This is an idea. I guess I'll just talk about this since we're at that level, that base level of things. Um, mm -hmm. Something I had thought about was, um, so I think you and I had this discussion where like, oh, websites team is a failure or, you know, com ops isn't functioning anymore or blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, we're seeing all these teams as failures instead of an evolution or, hey, we did, you know, we took a misstep somewhere, but we don't necessarily need to consider this a failure. We need to look at a place to grow. So yeah. part of uh, one of the first things I was actually looking at, but life, COVID, I don't know, shit happened. And I feel like some of the ideas and projects I had, like coming up January into February kind of just died. <laughs> So yeah. something that I was working on was an org chart or like something of a reorg. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I had talked about was um, including the marketing marketing team in with the design team. Mm -hmm. Now currently the design team is not meeting. They are semi, I would say they're semi active or decently active on their Peugeot repo. So they're doing work. Um, but they're not meeting, which is fine, I think. Um, and and yeah, I talked to Mismo about it. Um, for anybody who's watching this, that's the design team leader. Um, and I talked to her about it, and she was like, "Yeah, whatever you need to do, or whatever you think is best, like we're willing to work with that." And like, I think um, doing a little bit of condensing with some of these teams. It's a good idea. So my idea was yeah. to just kind of bring marketing and design together. Now, the other thing we have to think about, I think, is like there's separate repos, there's separate channels, there's separate all of this stuff for <laughs> both of them. So that does create um, something of an issue um in, in the idea of like bringing them together because you have two channels for communications but i don't know it's something we could think about a little bit more i actually have someone in mind for uh the marketing team were you able to watch the keynotes this morning no i was still asleep <laughs> that's okay you're lucky my kid was a mess <laughs> um, well, um, there's a, re um, Sarah Finn, she's, a she's on CPE in Red Hat mm -hmm. and she actually has a background in marketing and I was, you know, she was like, how could I get involved in Fedora? I don't know. And I'm like, this would be a great place. So mm -hmm. I have, I'm like trying to do some recruitment and mm -hmm. it would be like start talking it up a little bit, you know, how I've been doing for the ambassadors yeah and you know that starting to kind of get on its way so mm -hmm. i do envision like a full revamp for marketing and design to kind of merge so how I do think. you see that like like marketing making requests and design responding um within the team not having tickets for design but marketing tickets i think um yeah. I think having marketing, like, so if marketing has like a vision of like what we're trying to, to mm -hmm. kind of do, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think some design tasks will have nothing to do with 
like yeah. marketing we have nothing to do with. And then I think other things we would collaborate very closely on. And I think we could collaborate in like a variety of ways, but like, for example, say if the marketing team came up with a campaign, um, like a We Are Fedora campaign, and we came up with all the different ideas of the things we wanted to do, and then we can bring that, you know, to the design team, first of all, I think we should include them in the ideation part because they're really creative people. So that's a chance for us to all sit down and say, what can, what can we do? Here's the here's the core of the campaign, mm -hmm. um, like say it was the VR Fedora campaign. And then we all sit down and say, well, like I have the skills to edit together a video and I have <laughs> um, the skills to organize the whole thing overall. And I have the skills to make you know, poster, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of my thought on how design and marketing work together. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of like a creative agency would. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, that's what I would like because at the end we're trying to promote a product. It's a free product, but it's a sealed product. Right. Right. And that's that's what I don't see us going right now. Right. So, so I guess my question is, is the marketing team slash design team's goal, is our focus on like, is it on getting new users? Is it on getting new contributors? Is it showing off what we're currently about? Is it about, you know, making our current contributors feel good? So I think there's all these different campaigns that can be run underneath yeah. this yeah um and actually i have a really cool thought <laughs> which is which is why have, i knew we should merge this this specific <laughs> workshop because i knew that yeah uh my thought is i think we should have a marketing intern for the winter outreachy session that's now <laughs> What? That's yours. I'm just going to step on that. But yeah. I don't think I that mean, we need that. Thing, no, it would not be for me. It would be to do this project. Yeah. No, no, I mean so, because of the... Oh, okay. <laughs> like it would be like a... <laughs> we, we would have a... I mean, I would probably mentor or co-mentor like with you yeah. or something like that or like Edward. Mm -hmm. Like the three of us could could do it together. I think it would um, be a really join because I have the design part and the crazy creative one. But I mean, you have the more wide perspective and Edward has the more in deep marketing perspective. So it, it, this is someone who has to be influenced by several teams to do an effective job. And it's something that even if we want, each one of us individually will not do. Right. Why? Because it's a, it's a strategy. So you need a team right. for So I think what we would want them to do is focus on writing like campaign strategies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they do the, if they like, say we had five different ideas we chose, or mm -hmm. four, whatever, four different ideas we chose with some solid like, this is why, this is the background history, and then they write up like, this is you know how much you're going to tweet and this is how many po blog posts and whatever the whole strategy for the entire thing that's what i would like to see uh none of us have to do mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know and so we can just once we have that campaign strategy or you know whatever outline mm -hmm. that we can implement it mm -hmm. so i'm just adding on the on the notes i'm starting to have an intro to work with both teams and creating the main campaign. So probably the main campaigns to start with will be one, to showcase what is currently being done, but probably more personally, but that's something that can be developed. What is currently being done? Second, probably will be the a small recognition package for organizing conferences or talks or that. Um, small. Thank you. I'm just gonna be more aware. Why should I write? Because I have a 
secretary doing all the work for me. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I need to. Here we go. I was yeah. trying to go until we could both type things. Yeah, but do you think that they go in the same? Because one thing is, uh, you are doing this amazing job uh, building this or maintaining this for the distribution, and then the other will be more into the joint ambassador mentor side. Oh, you have been doing an amazing job by bringing people to contribute. So it will be two separated, probably. Thanks. Yes. One is about technical accomplishment, and the other is about human accomplishment. You should write, you should write the stuff in here. Mm -hmm. That's something that I, I don't know if you were the one who said that earlier today or yesterday. That one thing was the technical side, and the other was the human side. I mean, uh, when we talk about contributors. It usually right. divides in two sections, so we should tackle those sections. And uh, this person should help us into coordinate how are going to be this during pandemic uh, small, medium, and big events, and what we as a group as Fedora can do to help to make them re look really professional. Because that's probably one of the things that attract the most users. But the world doesn't seem like a, you know, a, a group of crazy people who, you know, don't have a life. It looks like a group of professionals who build something. At least that's why I join most of the people that I have bring with me. Right. Uh, that's what they see. So we need to try to keep that professionally. One of the things that I love was how this Nest conference was built. And I believe me, I have gone into a really huge amount of conference during this uh, five months online. And this was like, I mean, rockets. It was just amazing. The coordination, the availability, uh, how you can just join anything and you can participate and, and you can have your face there and everybody can chat and this VR strange thing from. Yeah. Uh, it, it made my laptop die, but I was happy to be there. Um, <laughs> But that right. kind of things should come with a strategy for those who are not uh, used to this kind of conference. Because we are a minority. We like it or not. The people who have been going to conferences for years, either small, medium, or large, is not the, the, the rule. So how can we help those who are not used to that? To have a really professional looking conference and and that actually comes with results right. so that's that's my main goal there because i really like conferences i mean i i have tried to to provide as much design and you know ideas and and really tiny things to make everything look really neat but this pandemic era is isn't brand new for anyone. So if we could also wrap that up and how to so that can you give like a brief summary of that one? Yeah, uh, create a new strategy for this COVID era conferences, and we can divide it into small and medium because the large ones are going to be organized by uh, you know the full staff, but the small and the medium ones are the ones that need help. We are uh, having once a month uh, WordPress uh, conferences, really small. Uh, the friends that live in my city and some that are moving to the place that I'm living now because it's really close. Mm -hmm. And we end up having like from 30 to 45 people connected using Meetup. It's a, it's a website that you pay a subscription. So Mozilla pays a subscription for that. It's like 30 bucks or something. And they keep connected through that. And it's really cute because you have recordings and and you can uh, set the pictures if you took a picture and it gives you notifications through email. So it, it kind of keeps you on the loop. And uh, right. a week before the conference, it says, hey, in a week, you're going to have some reminders, post reminders. Hey, this is how you look or this was your screenshot during the conference. How are you? Was good? Was was it good? So also has some polls. Which I can actually, I mean, I can do, uh, Hopin has some of this functionality, mm -hmm. except um, 
I didn't have access to the platform very early. So yeah. next yeah. time and we can start learning more about it and figuring mm -hmm. out how to use more of its functionality. Um, the tools are there, but we need someone yeah. to help us. But I think more, it's more, my question is like, for me, it's less about like, that's my job, right? To figure out how the mm -hmm. different features work and to inform everybody about that. For me, it's more like, well, I think we would like to get more people at the conference. Mm -hmm. I think that would be like a great goal for the marketing team to try. Like, what kind of campaign strategy can we use? Where can we go to get more of the right people here? Yeah. So for me, when for I me, think about the design part specifically, how to make more appealing the conference, how to have the right content, how to help them have a really neat presentation. Uh, how to make an effective uh, spreading campaign before the conference and how to make an effective post contact, uh, post event contact campaign for them to keep in touch. Uh, but that's helping the, the either the people from join or ambassadors so they can stay in touch. That then you come with the mentors uh, summer camp, but they had to, they need to have something to, to start with. And small conferences like that, you know, let's just talk about how to install the new Fedora version. Let's just talk about how to make a, a I don't know, an RPM, whatever. So a small conference that look professional just like this, not because this is big, but every single conference, even if you have five, 45, 300, or a thousand people, they should look professional, all of them. Yep. You have your badge, you have your, your I don't know, your presentation background, you have a either physical sticker or online sticker. But right. you have something, you have something there. I don't know why my video always stop when I'm making funny faces. It just knows. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Myself. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited about the food. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, oh I'm excited because I just cooked for the first time um, chicken uh, visceral, like heart, uh, kidneys, and all that. It couldn't seem to a plate. And I was like, hmm, except, I don't know, this is not going to be good. And it's wow, so delicious. <laughs> I'm ha about to have some ramen, and I'm pretty excited about that. It's delivering, actually, maybe very soon. Yes, ramen is delicious. That's okay. I, how long have we been here? I don't see the time stamp. Uh, we've been here about four minutes. minutes. Yeah, it's okay. This was actually the time that I had in mind, like an hour. I think you said an hour and a half, but an hour. Is right. Two. I mean, I, I'm just, so I think that there's a lot more to discuss. I feel like yeah i'm a little concerned about you know it just being me and you here right now like i feel like mm -hmm. we need more input and i almost feel like this could be this marketing thing could be something that we talk about at a mindshare committee meeting mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. we'd have like a lot of good input there and like we could even open a ticket on the mindshare committee repo saying you know basically like requests for a revamp if we're giving these yeah. out these days let's do yeah. one over here what i think that i'm going to do after the meeting ends uh -huh. i will try to annoy edward to answer me it doesn't matter if it's tomorrow probably he's just taking the day off with the family and once i get his input from the marketing side then i will open the ticket because i think that yeah, as you say, it's just not changing how things work. It's just like it's just bringing people to work together more efficiently. So if yep. we don't present this as a change, but as a collaborative uh, work, something that is temporal to see how it works, then if everything works as we want to, then we can make some changes. So it's smoothly. So we don't have all the drama that we had with the ambassadors. Okay, well, I might just write in the session chat that uh, we finished up our meeting mm -hmm. and to look forward to the recording. Yay! Thank you for
for being here. Of course. I miss you. Have a, have, have a good ramen in my name. And have you ever had beer? Uh, no. Why? <laughs> Uh, oh my. This is recorded. I mean, I mean, I mean well, like, what happens? We're adults. That's true. You know what I was thinking at the end of the day, yesterday and Friday? I said, man, I really wish I was looking at some foreign menu and trying to <laughs> interpret it for myself or interpret an English menu for yeah. A, yeah. a friend. And then have uh, you know multiple cocktails. Yeah. That would have been a nice, yeah. and you know, our normal. Bed. I just wander on the streets, you know, walking and laughing. Yeah, it was like oh. that was great. It was great in Budapest, definitely. Soon, soon, let's pray that we can overcome this awful disease that affected all the world and just go back to normal. With new rules, I get it, I get it, but back to normal. Well, you know, I think once the vaccine's in place, we're going to be in a great, a way better spot. Yes, yes. All right, I'm here. Like, I got to really run. I'm sure that it have, but yeah. I got to okay. run. Thanks, everyone who was watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.